morning everybody it's may 16 about nine o'clock in the morning will this job ever end <laughs> so i'm gonna try to work on these vents today and put in some more block and do whatever i can been a few days since i've been out here a couple days it's absolutely poured you can see mud and everything i'm not looking forward to it in fact inside this is becoming a pool standing water right there so there's no way for it to get out that's not good <laughs> so i'm going to be working in a mud pit today i don't like that but whatever i got a bit that's the masonry bit i've been thinking this over and over and over how i'm going to do this so what's the best way so i'll show you what i come up with this is all a pool, all the way around. Stops there, picks up right here. Full of water. <sighs> I guess that's what you get for trying to build a house in the spring in North Carolina. Okay, so I'm gonna show you a little bit. Of one system I think is coming around for me is I and I screw these screws all the way through, just a tad, past their... And then I put them up against here, and I kind of guess on this first one. I pull it away, and I drill just a small hole, not all the way. And then I put it up, and I see, oh yeah, that fits perfect. Slid right in the hole. Then I guess on the bottom one, pull it out, drill that one partially, and slide these in and then it looks like yep those are pretty much lined up then what I do is I go with this drill dip a little water just trying to keep it cooled off but what I'll do is I'll drill this and then I'll kind of make it a little bit bigger than it should be because honestly this thing's gonna be I'm gonna put some expanding sealant in there and then it's got some mortar that's going around and then it's going to have the top seal on top so i don't think it's going to go anywhere this is more for just keeping it fixed to here but it doesn't have to be like a perfect screw hole where it's holding in it so that's what i'm doing so far um i absolutely hate these screws they're flat heads and they're impossible to get to and they're just they're a pain Well, that's not a good thing right there. Well, it'll get filled in with some water. It's much more painful process than I thought it was going to be, and I have to do 11 of these. So, just to let you know the way you keep track uh, up or down, it says top on the on here, so you know that's top. And I just make sure by screwing these screws in that they are officially lined up. That's kind of how I do that. It's, you don't have to put the screws in all the way. And in fact, I found out something down there. I screwed these all the way up against flush. And what that does not do is it does not mimic the distance here. So I ended up, when I got to the middle, with a really huge gap, a really big gap. So um, I had to custom make a couple of blocks. So on this one, I'm gonna let it stay out a little bit further. And in fact, what I might do is screw my screws all, almost all the way in and then stick them in and do a little final little turn and then keep that regular um, about three eighths, whatever gap between it so that my bricks end up the same at the end. 
So I like the system I've come up with now. I put the screws out pretty far. They still have a little bit of space there to go in. Put these ones out. So like this one I haven't drilled yet, but what I did was the cement block marks sort of okay. So I just took my screwdriver and went like this and say, okay, at the end of this is where one hole is going to go. And then I hold this. I hold this in and then I take this screwdriver and I mark a spot right here at the end and then we'll drill. I don't know if you can see this ever so slightly, a little line right there that I scratched, so I'll be drilling right there. And then this line, put a hole right there. I like the top do it, drilling this way on this one. Can't do it on the other one because it's already affixed. But at least you're able to put a little water in here so you don't burn up your bit. All right, let's hope that lines up. All right, trying to give you a little bit of a view on this. Um, it's very... It's, it's a challenge, big time challenge. But I'm gonna try to do this. For you so you can see kind of what I'm doing. So this is where the bottom of the vent is. You hear water, it's because I'm standing in puddles. <laughs> All right, so I've got that in. And like I said, I've got my screws partially in or partially out, however you want to look at it. I made my holes. Big enough, these can just go in. Very, I don't know if there's any other way to design it, but very poor design on the screws and the ability to get to them. All right, I think I would have liked to have had more of the screws sticking out. This seems to be grabbing and pulling it in, and I don't want it to go that far in. I don't want it to pull it up against the river. I'm trying to keep a gap right here. So instead of recording, you have to watch this. I'm going to just turn this off and back the screws out and do this over again. So I had these not as far in as maybe I should. I'm going to go ahead and put them in further like this. So they're barely going to screw in a few threads. That way I can keep my grout line nice and thick and I don't have to overcompensate at the end. Plus this is going to be a little more tricky too because it's at the end of a right before I get to the door for the crawl space. Alright, let's see how this goes. Alright, I like this better. Yeah, that's better. Alright, so I still didn't get them all tightened all the way, but that's fine. I don't care how far it is or in or out. <clears throat> But I have a little bit more of a space here, which I like. The other one I had it smashed right up against there. I don't, that didn't work too well. All right, so what we're going to do is take this one with its holes. I got to lay mortar, and then it's it's a little bit more complicated and get it all lined up here. Just slightly on a little bit too wet side. Okay. I can 
can see this is a problem right away. Just mentioned my water's not thick enough. Nearly. That's better. It's quite tricky. Looks like I gotta put more mortar on this end. Get up easy. I'll put my one glove on so I can push some of this under. Definitely looks better. Right, I, like, I like the way that's going. Come over here to the other side. All right, that feels pretty good. I think if I undo this top one a little bit, my holes may be drilled off a little bit. That's the problem with this. It's like, I haven't really come up with a good solution. All right, so I got that all together now. I just have to straighten up the brick. All right, basically that's what it is. That's how you do it. And it's it's a very big pain to me. <laughs> it's taken a lot of time and I hope it all turns out all right. All right, guys, it is getting close to three o'clock. The sun has pounded me and it's humid. Uh, I got the, the end done and I got this end done. So I needed 11 vents to be to code kind of when you talk about how many square feet each i think each vent does like 60 square feet or something approximately in a case came 10 so i got 10 gray ones and uh those were about 190 dollars on amazon they had a case of these at home depot and they were 300 so I got one loose one because I needed 11. Probably could have got away with not doing 11. And if I knew absolutely I could get away without doing 11, I would have only done 10. Because <laughs> they are not, they're not fun. Um, so anyway, I'm going to have one black one sitting here on this corner. And all the rest will be gray. I was hoping the gray was going to kind of blend in with the block. And I think it will. I, the black looks cool too. It kind of highlights, but I don't. I wanted to be be more subtle and blend in. So anyway, that's where we're at. Uh, I it says there's rain in the forecast tomorrow, but I'm not seeing it on like what hour. It's just showing cloudy all day. So it might be one of those things where you come out and chance it that. It may or may not rain. I don't know. But I'd like to come out tomorrow if I can and do this side. It's a lot of work. I, there's no way I know. There's no way I can get more than one side done a day. Just not. When I it took me all day to do these, the ends, it's, it's slow going with the drilling and all that stuff. I almost feel like the drilling could be thrown away. Just don't put the screws in there. Mortar it in. It would be so much faster if I didn't have to screw these. And then I also bought some of this. So I plan on filling in uh, around those once they're completely dried out. All right. I will see you guys the next time I get out here. All right, guys. May 17, 9 o'clock, just about here. And the, the property just got in. And... Uh, Yesterday I went, I know I'm getting low and I know I don't have enough block, cement block. So I went and bought a little bit more. I still might need some more. And I needed some, a little bit more mortar as well. I'm going to be going back over here today and try to do this close side. Let's see how it goes. <laughs> Just get those vents in. Um, I'm so tempted to not screw them in. If I didn't have to screw them in, I'd probably finish today. But I don't know. I guess it gives it some stability. So over the long run, they'll never fall out. But anyway, that's what we're going to do. It is supposed to start raining at 5 o'clock. It already looks like it could drop at any time. So I'm just going to get after it. North Carolina, they say 5 o'clock. It's going to start you could have a thunderstorm at one. <laughs> you know, you never know. Uh, 
anyway we're gonna get after this and get as much done as we can all right <laughs> All right, guys, uh, a long time ago, Diego helped me do this side, and I was mentioning how much water it was taking to clean out the wheelbarrow and stuff, and he had mentioned that he noticed when he was redoing the mortar that the dried stuff was just kind of falling off. So that kind of st stuck in my mind. I felt like it wasn't a complete clean, but... Um, Yesterday I gave it a shot to see what will happen if I don't use any water to clean the wheelbarrow. And that way I'll save on water. So what I did was I cleaned it out the best I could. I took a rock and scratched around and stuff, but obviously I didn't do a great job. So I just wanted to see how that worked. And this morning, this is only about half of it, I already dumped some of it. And then I thought, oh, I should show you guys. Um, just hitting this couple places a lot of it a lot of it would crack and so this is what uh, this is how much I bought out which is pretty impressive and I would say it's barely I mean doing it with water is so I'd say doing it with water barely gets cleaner than doing it the dry way. So I think I'll be doing that from now on. And it's raining so much. It's supposed to start raining tonight at five and rain for a couple more days again. So I'll leave it out and it, it'll get soaked or whatever, but that's, that's good enough for me. Alright guys, it's uh, knocking on 4 o'clock. Never did dump on me. I got a few sprinkles occasionally, but not enough to make me stop. It was enough to make me be ready to run if I needed to, but it never dropped like hard or anything. So I got, I'm really happy with how much I got done today. Um, I'm about five, I'm going to be about five cement block short i think i'm going to take four off the top up there and just buy another one one more at the store um i've only got two more events to do that's going to be somewhere in here and uh the two reasons why i had to stop today number one is i ran out of mortar I bought an 80 pound bag yesterday and or brought it brand new one and thought that would be enough but it wasn't and uh, the other thing was that my drill bit broke the little there's a little tip on the end of it uh, I was drilling away and I'm like why aren't I going any deeper it was on this one here which was the last one I was doing and uh, looked at it the tip came off somewhere I don't know I don't know if that's from me getting it too hot, but I always dip it in water and pour water on it and stuff. But I don't know if that's was me or not, if it was my fault or not, but I'm just gonna go buy another one. Um, so yeah, the two things, mortar and drill bit. I would have gotten a little bit more done had I had both of those, 
I could at least ran these blocks out and I probably would have been tempted to just use, I have four across up there and I don't really want to take the fifth one off of the next row down. So I was close. It was a good day. I feel good. I'm glad I got done what I got done. It's supposed to rain tonight. It's, um, and I just looked at the forecast. It's just going to rain for a few hours tonight and not even a high chance. So I don't know. We'll pay attention to that. See what it looks like when I get up in the morning. And then it's not showing rain all morning tomorrow. So I'm thinking if it's not too muddy, I would love to get out here and finish this off. That would be fantastic. All right, guys. I will see you the next time I'm out here. Hopefully it's tomorrow. If not, maybe a couple days because we are showing a couple days of rain. All right. See you then. Hey, good morning, everybody. Uh, I think it's May 18 and about 10 o'clock in the morning getting out a little bit later because I had to stop and pick up some supplies this morning but basically we're just gonna keep on hammering away at this and uh, I got I think just enough block now to finish that and I have enough fence to finish that and I just went and got some mortar to finish that so I'm hoping we can get that done today they had rain in the forecast, but they've lifted that till this evening. So um, it did rain last night. Um, i surprised actually it got this much rain down here. But this is a little bit puddled here, new puddle there. More water there than there was. And uh, so I'll probably be working in the mud a little bit again today. But that's what I've been doing for the last week. So let's get this done and... Uh, finally finished this uh project <laughs> i can't wait well i got down here inside now i'm gonna call it the pit <laughs> another lake over here so we got some water in here and it's exactly where i'm gonna be working today the most right in the mud well it is what it is but welcome to north carolina in the spring I don't know if I've shown this. I did once and I filled this completely up with rock and dirt. And <clears throat> the very next rain, which was a couple days ago, washed it all out again. So I got to figure out something there for diverting um, water before it gets to the pad. That might be something I do today too, if I have time. All right, my guys, remember yesterday I broke off the tip of my uh, drill bit for the mason, masonry cut. Check out what I bought this time. <laughs> like, if I break another one, I don't want to be out of luck. And I thought, you know what? I never know if I'm going to be hanging something on the outsides of these. Something takes a little bit bigger. So what I'm going to do, actually, I want to give this a shot is I would like to use a bigger bit than I used last time. Let's see here. Yeah, something like this. I think the other one I had was just a tad smaller than the screws. This one looks like it's right on. That way it's going to fit easier and I don't have to sit there and fuss with it and fight it. All right, so where we're at right now is I've got this one. To do and I put these in last night so they'd be hard so I was like I'm gonna try this where both sides are in I was debating on whether to leave this for today or not but I decided try doing it like this and see if I can make that work and then I had mentioned before that you don't want your vents underneath where your porch will be and this is where the edge of our sliding glass door will go for the back door and if I put another brick in and then put my vent, it's gonna to come to here. And I'm sure that our deck is gonna come, a little porch or whatever for the back door is gonna come out further than that. And then that means your fascia is gonna be blocking your vent. So unfortunately I have to put it here. I wished I could have went one more block. If we had this door over one more foot, which I don't know that we can move it over or not, but I don't have the blueprints with me. I would have loved to have come in one more brick and then that way I'd been in six bricks and my vents would be a little bit more to the center 
and I couldn't I can go ahead and block this all the way up to almost this line and put a vent here so it's a little bit more to the center but I think it would drive me nuts if they're not exactly the same on both sides so I think I'm gonna just do them now on the five in uh, I might yeah I think that's that's what we're gonna do <laughs> all right guys it's about two o'clock and I can't tell you how happy I am that I finally finished this is the first main thing to building the house I guess like structure wise anyway I uh, give you a little all the way around finish this obviously just now I had to take four blocks from up there off the top to finish that's why those are dirty right there those are from there and then because these vents are hard to get the spacing on like you want between each of your blocks end up costing me I was trying to put space between them I made them thick between but still when I got to this point they were too far apart so I had to fudge and put one center piece there and fit, fit that in other than that it's done guys another thing that I bought was the concrete mix um, to put the J bolts on the top so we can uh, attach the seal plate to it so I'm going to go ahead and load this up now I put the pallet over here put a pallet over here and I'll cover it up with the tarp and uh, let's get it done. Right, guys we're going to try to do something here i'll show it to you first of all water comes off my road i don't know if you can see all the fingers coming off here then it hits here and it goes down through here now there's definitely going to be in the future a more official better solution to what i'm thinking right now but what happens is it washes down here goes around the corner there and then it dumps down that spot I showed you so you know we are going to be putting some drain pipe here we'll put some gravel some cloth drain pipe that's gonna go perforated pipe that'll go around us and then we'll backfill so that it'll have and then we're also gonna waterproof the wall so this will be able to flow into it but right now, I'm just th trying to think of what I can do to stop this from just going down so much. So, I think, I don't know if I'm going to be able to go on this with my tractor and not slip all over the place. If I can, I'm going to try to build some kind of a levee so that this exits sooner before it gets down here something right here i don't know how i'm gonna do it because this by the time it gets here it's got a good flow and whatever i put there it could basically just wash it away if it's dirt i don't know but i'm gonna try maybe a couple little ditches to and i don't have my backhoe on if i had my backhoe on i could dig, dig something a little bit better but and i think in the future like i said this is just a temporary thing besides what's going to go around the house i think I'll put some drainage ditches going through here or something and also along the road. But I also have pipes coming underneath 
that are uh, for the well to connect to the well when it eventually gets dug and some other stuff so okay what I've done so far is I took that box scraper and I backed over here and started pulling dirt and then now I'm taking the front loader and digging in and trying to build a levee here so hopefully the thing is it's not going to stop what's coming right here you can see there's trenches here too but hopefully it'll stop a lot of what's coming from there All right, I actually feel better about that than I thought I would. I was able to move dirt pretty easily. I was spinning and got stuck there a couple times in the mud, but a little bit of a levee. And hopefully that'll at least stop all of these that are coming down. And obviously not gonna stop anything on that side, but I think this will help a lot. As long as it doesn't wipe out my heel. <laughs> That's my only concern, but uh, anyway, I think that looks pretty good. We'll see how it goes. We're supposed to get rain tonight and tomorrow. I already did one uh, bucket full. I'm going to do a second bucket full here and just see if we solved any problems or not. Hopefully this doesn't bother the camera too much. Uh, about a quarter after three. Again, it's a Saturday. I think I'm hanging it up for the day. Save my property. We got a couple of projects done. It's awesome. And like I said, rain tonight and tomorrow. So it may be a couple days before I get back out here. But uh, uh, next project is J-bolts. Sinking those in with concrete so that we can have something attached to the seal plate. So I will see you guys the next time I'm out.